You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you this week by MocktailsMixOff.com. Mr. Ferris, how are you, sir? I'm not doing too bad. You know, my, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Which I is, noticed yeah. that. It's, it's just kind of weird because there's no discomfort, no pain. It's just kind of... Just kind of going. Going away. I probably missed a payment or something. Should you, <laughs> should you whisper? No, I don't know. Do Things are. Like this, oh, man, kind of get low. <laughs> get, <laughs> get all feely up in here. Hmm. Uh, Richard Burton has a birthday this day. He loved Elizabeth Taylor so much, married her twice. Really? Or three times or four times. I don't know. Huh. She, she was married a bunch. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Richard was all right. Heck of an actor. Uh, Miranda Lambert is 37. She's a country singer, right? She is. She was married to Blake uh, Shelton for a while. She's kind of a wild she child. Dig a key into his car. No, that was a whole different singer. Miranda, oh, it's not even the same lady. No, Miranda Lambert uh, was kerosene. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, You're someone. thinking of Carrie Underwood, who dug her key in the side of your soup, little souped, souped up, up four wheel drive. drive. See, I'm, I don't country much. Uh huh. Well, I'm glad we could have that chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And most importantly. I want to do a tip of the old sunny 93.3 hat to a gentleman by the name of Tim Rice. Tim Rice. Who's Tim Rice? You may ask yourself. He wrote the Murray Head classic, One Night in Bangkok. Really? Which to this day, I think is just one of the funnest. I think so too. I love that one. Planet. Get tied. You're talking to a tourist. Whose every move is among the purest. I get my kicks above the waistline and sunshine. <laughs> yeah. That's Tim Rice's claim to fame. That's a great song. So uh, there you go. And you can hear it right here on Sunny 93. Yes, you can. More rock, less talk. It was... uh, (laughs) We don't say that. 1969, and I know, Heidi, you are such a huge fan. This day, 1969, Sesame Street makes its premiere. Sunny Yes. Not a huge fan of Sesame Street. Really? Well, you know, they kind of birthed the whole Muppet thing. Yeah, but the Muppets are different. They've got a whole different vibe. You know, I well, didn't want to weigh in with an argument with you. <laughs> wow, she's Never. kind of John on you over there, isn't she? Right, so far I got to engage with Mr. Doesn't Know Anything About Music over there, and now this. We're off to a Is that what it looks start. like when I argue with you? Because that was ugly. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. 1885. German engineer. Now get it straight. It was 1885. German engineer Gottlieb Daimler unveils the world's first motorcycle. Oh, wow. Gottlieb. I didn't know Daimler was the first motorcycle. And Daimler, and now his name is still synonymous with, yeah, there you go. Been Hmm. around a long time. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. You bet it is. And a day later, he was spotted in Sturgis. In 1989, Spurgis. Speaking of Germany, and golly, what an historic country, Germans begin demolishing the Berlin Wall. Thank you, Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Nice. There you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Yes, sir. A little bit of what's gone on before we were born. There you go. Now you know. I know. We all know. John's still confused. Let's just forge ahead. <laughs> it's not all before we were born. I remember the Berlin Wall. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> I do. Were you there because David Hasselhoff was? <laughs> yes, he was. He was singing. For free. Yes, he was. And he had a flashing <laughs> light up jacket. Yeah. How David Hasselhoff got a piece of that is beyond me. But the Germans love story. Hasselhoff. Yeah. 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 If you have some fun, just go. Google the heck out of David Hasselhoff. It's a blast. Yes, it is. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you this week by MocktailsMixOff.com. The countdown is on. Get your recipes in this week for 1000 bucks. All the details at MocktailsMixOff.com. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's that's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. 
Ranger Dan. Mm. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Oh, snappy salute after the well stretched brim, the old Ranger Dan Cap, do you two little snuggle bugs. Look at you over there, Jeff. I have I'm done. Hey Heidi! Ranger Dan. <laughs> you know there's twenty one letters in the old alphabet. I'm pretty sure there's twenty six. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the U R A. Q-T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It took a little time to get there, but well worth the wait, wasn't it? I know. I know. <laughs> oh, Ranger Dan is still uh, doing it. Doing a little, little in there. Uh, You're on the old Red Dad Daddy with their little radio rangers. I've got, uh, I've got a little story about life lessons involved and, and a couple critters, too, one of one of which who actually speaks. Hmm. I think we can all learn a lot from this. It was late one night. There's a bad guy involved. Late one night. A burglar. Bad guy. Broke into a house. While he was sneaking around, gathering up stuff, putting him in his little cat burglar baggie, he heard a voice. And the voice said, Jesus is watching you. Hmm. <laughs> he looked around. Didn't see a thing, so he kept on doing his creepy little burglar thing. <laughs> creepy. Again, he heard, Jesus is watching me. <laughs> heard it come out of a dark corner of the room. Then all of a sudden, the moonlighty light coming through a window, he, he saw a cage with a, with a big parrot inside. The burglar asked the parrot, hey, was that you who just said Jesus is watching me? And the parrot replied, yep. <laughs> well, relieved, the burglar asked, what's your name there, Parrot? And Parrot said, Clarence. The burglar said, you know, that's a pretty stupid name for a parrot. What idiot named you Clarence? The parrot answered, same idiot that named the Rottweiler Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, little radio rangers. <laughs> you learned something. I know that story didn't end well, but that's all the time we've got. <laughs> Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you need car insurance? Well, of course. Everyone needs car insurance if you want to drive your car. You probably already have insurance somewhere. But is it the right insurance for you? Our friends at insurancechicken.com make it pretty easy. They have several big name insurance companies you've heard of all in one place to help you find the most affordable insurance that covers all of your needs. It's a great idea, but not such a great name. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, I don't get it either. Check it out today and see if they can help you at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you this week by MocktailsMixoff.com. Dan, what do you got for us today? Well, you know, and I think you put it together. You have, uh, I, I want to say it's a Facebook page. Stop me if I'm wrong about jobs. Oh, yeah. About Sue, job listings, and I've yeah. seen people sign up on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. SueEmpireJobs.com. Okay, well, here's one. I don't think it's <clears throat> it's made your page yet, but we are huge supporters of our first responders, our police and mm-hmm. fire. And this is what's going on. Lincoln County, South Dakota, is now the third largest county in the state. That's bringing the need for additional deputies for the Lincoln County Sheriff's Department. Oh, wow. Lincoln County Sheriff Steve Swenson, thank you for what you do, Steve, you and your crew. Looking to add four members to the force right now. One, two, three in the studio. Uh, We should get deputized. One is due uh, to retirement. Three others uh, are going to be upped into other deputy positions. And right now, if you got the stuff, there's like a $5,000 signing bonus. Wow. And to save some time and money, uh, Swenson is looking for individuals who probably have been through the training already so they can join the force immediately, saving anywhere from six to eight months before they are certified to be pressed into business. The K-9 Patrol also plays an important role. We've got two longtime uh, K-9s who are retiring, 12-year-old Blitz and 11-year-old Dinah have retired. Nice. Both dogs will remain with their handlers. In their That's retirement, nice. I love which that. Which is cool. And so you've been hearing a lot of talk, certainly this year, about, oh boy, various activists, protesters, politicians. We need to reimagine reimagine our police and our law enforcement. I don't think so. Reimagine. So you hear that enough. And, and I actually, I did reimagine. I had some spare time over the weekend. <laughs> oh, here we you go. What you've been doing? I reimagined <laughs> That's a lot of papers law you got enforcement there. as a lot more of them making twice the salary they do now. Love that. An endless supply of baked donuts from CNC Food Factory. 
Sign me up. <laughs> and police dogs that can fly. Oh, Ooh, wow. you really that's were imagining. a great that's how idea. I reimagine law enforcement. Let's nice. do this. How are you going to make flying dogs? I don't know. I'm just reimagining. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to get? I, I think we're going to get better results defunding police departments. So <laughs> I can go out there and la la land too, John. So. <laughs> I don't know if I even dare thank you for that report. Uh, I'll Laser thank you for that. On their heads. That yeah. is a winning idea. There you go. Well, maybe yeah. they put one of those little jetpacks on like that dude that was flying around above L.A. Did you Why guys not? hear about that? It's Some just guy? it's a reimagination, John. Love it. Huh. Love it, love it. All right. Well, here you go. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to necessarily work, but it's <laughs> it's an idea. Well, what they're thinking ain't going to, so <laughs> I thought I'd chime in, John. Your idea isn't any more silly than theirs. <laughs> well, thank you for that report, Dan. <laughs> a pleasure. <laughs> it's Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you this week by MocktailsMixOff.com. If you go there, you can sign up right now with your recipe. And I clicked in to see, and we've got some in there, but you know what? There's room for more. We're going to have 10 qualifiers, and I would love for you, yes, you, to be one of them, mocktailsmixoff.com. You have until this Friday, $1,000 could be yours if you're the winner. Do it now, mocktailsmixoff.com. Want to save money? Take the bettercreditcards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. Do it today. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for our bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. Their light fixtures can brighten any room. And we're going to brighten your day right now with some good news. The good news is free tacos. Holy cow. Ken Leonard joining me. Ken, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? I am really good. And you're going to make some people happy tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing. And you, you've got uh, Tacos de Gringo. It's kind of a new thing in Sioux Falls. Is that right? Yeah. So we came up from Phoenix, Arizona to uh, start our business and. uh We're doing uh, new age and traditional tacos and hot dogs. So we wanted to just, uh, for Veterans Day, we wanted to promote um, ourselves by giving some free tacos out to the community. And that's really kind of a neat thing. So tomorrow is the day. Where will people go if they would like to get some free tacos tomorrow afternoon? So we will actually be set up on the corner of 57th Street in Bonson. And... um, you can't miss it. It's a bit, our booth is a big white tent. Um, you'll see all the LED lighting, free tacos, free tacos flashing everywhere. Nice. And now, to, I was kind of reading the information. There's different kinds of tacos that you'll be doing. Tell me a little bit about the different types of tacos you'll be doing tomorrow. So to, uh, tomorrow we're bringing in two different tacos. They're going to be our basically our standard fare. You can always get it once we go live with our, our business. Um, but we're doing barbacoa beef, which is... Uh, it's a t- it's a take of barbecue beef, but it's not what us Americans think of barbecue beef. In Latin America, they would take whole animals, actually bury them in the ground with hot coals, and let them cook overnight. Oh wow! Obviously, we we can't do it that way here due to health code and stuff like that. However, it's a play off of that. So it's basically my nice flavorful um, shredded beef that's always going to be available. And then the other one is we're doing um, shredded chicken, and they're going to be on. Um, hot corn tortillas with just onion and cilantro. That's really cool. And now this is uh, for for people who maybe haven't had this authentic type of food. This is a little different than what you see at a lot of places around Sioux Falls, isn't it? Yes, yes. As far as I know, nobody up here has doing is doing the barbacoa. Um, I, from my experience, I've only been up here a couple a couple months. I see there's like a lot of El Salvadorian and Guatemalan here, uh, people here up here. So the culture is going to be a little different with the with the barbacoa. Um, so it's going to be completely different. The flavor profile, everything. I think it's going to be nice for for up here. I think that's really cool. Well, f- I'm sure I'm not the first one to say this, but welcome to Sioux Falls, and we're excited to have you here. I appreciate it. Sioux Falls has actually been very warm and welcoming. Even you know, my vendors that I'm going to be in direct competition with are so helpful and polite and courteous so it's it's been a blessing up here well it's it's warm and welcoming but get ready for it to get a little chilly as far as weather as well uh, it's a little different than phoenix so <laughs> oh yes yes 
definitely. I was hoping the warm weather would hold up for Veterans Day, so I might sneak by with it, but we'll see what happens. Absolutely. And then the official taco truck that's going to be rolling on the streets of Sioux Falls, that, that'll come around like in January, February, is that right? Mid, Mid-January, February, yep. It's, it's still about eight to ten weeks out being built, so... Yep, we just want to introduce ourselves and uh, get rolling when it gets up here. Well, we're excited. And now for tomorrow, for Veterans Day, is this for veterans only or is this for everybody? I was going to do it for uh, for just for veterans, but we want to open it up to Sioux Falls. I'm a veteran. I'm a second-generation veteran. So, yeah, you know, I, if you're a veteran, by all means, let me know that you, that you are a veteran when you're there. I'm going to take care of you. you know, this is for everybody. Well, thank you for your service, and thank you for doing what you're doing. This is neat. All right, I appreciate it very much. We're going to throw some information on our Facebook page to to get all the details out there. But again, Ken is doing a thing tomorrow, Tacos de Gringo, and free tacos tomorrow afternoon. Like I said, brighten your day with some some good news. That's some darn good news. All of the information about the event on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Radio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Do you need car insurance? Well, of course, everyone needs car insurance if you want to drive your car. You probably already have insurance somewhere. But is it the right insurance for you? Our friends at InsuranceChicken.com make it pretty easy. They have several big-name insurance companies you've heard of, all in one place, to help you find the most affordable insurance that covers all of your needs. It's a great idea, but not such a great name. InsuranceChicken.com. Yeah, I don't get it either. Check it out today and see if they can help you at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. And it's time right now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. The celebrities are fabulous. Fabulous. Been a lot of uh, high-end celebrity mansions coming and going. I saw that. This year, Gene Simmons sold a joint in Malibu, and then one of the Kardashians just unloaded a joint for 15 mil. Yeah. And uh, on and on. The house... The house in San Francisco, that Victorian home, they show shots of it, the opening credits of Full House. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has just yeah. been sold. How much? Again. Again, I'll get to that in oh, just I'm a sorry. second. Uh, what was interesting is that thing became a huge tourist draw. Yeah. It was, I believe, also in the movie uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Well, yeah, well, that series, well, that series ran from a 1987 to a 1995. Well, then for a period of years, another couple bought the house. They, they shut down the tourist thing. They weren't allowing photos, nothing. How do you not allow photos of your house? Well, they didn't want people congregating, taking pictures, whatever, whatever. And... Hey, if I don't, if people are in front of my house, guess what? They ain't there for long, John. <laughs> I know you'd invite them in so Heidi could I cook. probably would. <laughs> But we live in different worlds. We did, we did have a dude. He came all the way, all the way from. This happens all the time. All the in time. Our house. Came all the way from Washington D.C. I was in a chat room where they were talking about stalkers. We had this guy came in, and they're like, "What'd you do?" I said, "We went to dinner with him." Yeah, what else would you do? It was cool. Nice. The joint's uh, thirty-seven hundred square feet. Anyway, a few years back, back in uh, two thousand sixteen. The executive producer of Full House actually bought that house. Oh, nice. And he had it all repainted exactly like it was in oh, the TV good. series. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good thinking. And uh, he just unloaded it. Uh, I want to say <laughs> five. Helping. It wasn't all that much money. It's Scratching uh, up some dough for Aunt Becky's bail. Well, what's the price tag? Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Actually, this guy, the guy who bought it in 2016, paid $4 million for it. It's just been Whoa. sold now for about five and a half. Okay, so he did all right. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a halfway house for when Aunt Becky gets out. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, all right, she just went in last week. She's supposed yeah. to serve two months. Yeah. Those are already rumblings that she's going to be sprung early, which I kind of figured. But, so. you know, think about how difficult that probably is for that facility, just because she's so well-known. I got a feeling that that would be, there. you know, if you've got a famous prisoner, that's got to be tough. I, think I don't know it why would, that would be any more tough than a non-famous prisoner. if there were... If, I would assume they'd be a lot easier to subdue. I totally disagree, maybe. John. You, really? Yeah. yeah. So oh, you're yeah. telling me if you were in prison, if yeah. you were a bad dude or right. a bad lady in prison and there was somebody that was famous in there, you wouldn't be harassing that person? I don't know. Mike Tyson did okay. <laughs> well, he's Mike Tyson. Oh, I see. Well, maybe see how if you, you don't are? want to go to prison, you don't break the law. Uh, I'm just saying. And I think, I that, think be... that it should be irrelevant if you're famous. I mean, if you I'm broke the law, you broke the law. You shouldn't go to jail if you're famous. Please you understand to, You that. should have to serve your full sentence. No, she's in minimum security. She's right. It's not anymore. like she's in there with hard She's in one of those criminals. Starbucks prisons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she's in with soccer moms who were exactly. passing bad checks for video lottery. <laughs> wow. 
What? This whole, this whole program is off base today. The kind that wear jewelry when they're working out. <laughs> I broke a nail. Well, Dan, thank you for the update. Sure thing. <laughs> this is the second time today that I don't really mean that, by the way. <laughs> You're it's the one who the, took us off course. I it really apologize totally for all of that. professional until you open it. It is mouth. the John and Heidi Show bonus <laughs> hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by MocktailsMixOff.com. Your chance to win $1,000. This Friday is the deadline, so if you'd like to submit a recipe, if you've been thinking about it, don't wait any longer. Do it now. MocktailsMixOff.com. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's better. Creditcards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. The market got a healthy dose of good news Monday when Pfizer released news about its COVID-19 vaccine. According to Pfizer, the vaccine candidate has a greater than 90% efficacy rate in early trials. The news is exactly what the market's been waiting for and drove the broad market and S&P 500 up more than 5%. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ composite moved up to set new all-time highs on the news, while the Dow Jones lagged the overall move, and that's where the good news ends. On a technical basis, Monday's action lacked strength. The market opened at a new high and then spent the rest of the day moving lower. The candlesticks form vary from index to index, but all can be described as indicative or confirming resistance to higher prices, and the end of the post-election rally. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.